Water Department is here for a public hearing regarding the increase in water rates and fees. Recording in progress. Um, we are now here for any comments or discussions on this matter. Do we have any written comments? Uh, those would have been sent, so yeah. I'll wait. No, I didn't get that. Okay. Anyone have any comments? I'm Paul Lottie, and my wife and I live on River Road. Uh, and in looking at the fee structure and the rates that are described in the Excel spreadsheet that was available, uh, my understanding is that each household that is attached to the new water system will now basically pay a semi-annual connection fee as well as water use fee um, rates. Is that correct? No, it's a meter fee. What's the difference? Well, they're already connected. <laughs> can, can you describe what is meant by the meter fee then? It's a way, it's a way to basically have a way to, to collect guaranteed revenue without having and just not water consumption. That's exactly what I thought it meant. Okay. It is is well, the water rates is all established when we did it was we looked at the way that it's all the way put itself together in a, in a did a nice job with uh, formulas in the computer. So we could plug in various values for fees and rates to see how much revenue we would generate. It's all based on having enough revenue for the system to support its operation and maintenance from year to year, and then also start to look ahead. So we had a, a, a capital improvement plan done. So that what the rate we arrived at is based on that data. And what we tried to do is set the rate structure based on, so that, especially for the households, so that the amount is three tiers, three levels. It's all based on consumption on it, basically the median. The median amount, if you looked at all the people's consumption from the least to the largest yeah. in all the households, the median is, is, 40, is about 42,000 gallons for every six months. And that's where the 25,000 comes from, for the first tier. So for the $6 rate is for those 25,000, which will capture almost everybody. Because to even to get beyond that, you've got to go quite a ways up the scale. So we're trying to make it fair, but not make it, you know, punish people. Um, one of the descriptions that we were just wondering what it referred to were a uh, uh, fire hydrant. Um, where is it? Oh, hydrant meter and hydrant flow test fees. Is, is that, how, what is that and who pays that? So when, it have nothing to do with nothing residential. When a, when a business wants to think about coming into town and build something and they got to put a fire system in yeah they physically have to go out to the hydrants and open up hydrants and test their fire flow so they can design the system for the building yeah i wondered if it might be something like that but i just wanted you know something that was business related yeah I just wanted to ask how it worked for you know when you see the list of charges you yeah figure it out. yeah and does that also apply to this fire system service charges? Is that business only? Yep. Okay. Well, that, well... Unless you're building fire suppression system. Yes and no, unless you want to put a sprinkler system in your own house. Yeah. Oh, it's for um, businesses and houses that have... Yeah, anything, any, it would be any dwelling, I guess you call well, it, any building hooked to the town's water system that would have a sprinkler system. Yep. Like this yep. one. Yeah, I thought it might be that, but thank you for, for helping clarify. Yeah. So people who don't have sprinkler systems or, or would uh, never see would only be affected by the increase in the rate for the water and by the semi-annual service charge. So that we could look forward to approximately a doubling of our of our annual bill. That depends on what you were using, obviously. Yeah. Right. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm a fairly new commissioner. I've been in the water business 30, 30 years to work with public water systems. And what I saw when I came on board was a shortage of revenue to support the system. There's not enough money coming in to support it. Right, so the, the I think that was a $14,000 revenue um, excess that you had in the past year. How much, uh, and you, you're looking to increase that to look ahead, is that correct? 
I think the last budget showed a, um, that you were in the black by $14,000 or something like that. So, I'm just admitting. I'm trying to explain that. It was on the budget in the town. Um, how do I explain that? It was in the, it was in the last <laughs> minutes, but that was like 2022. That's like... Probably an estimate versus... Reward. It's like a savings account for the water department. Uh -huh. So that's not like... That wouldn't be, don't look at it as like $14,000 extra from just last year. Uh -huh. That's what's, oh, it's what's been built up over the years. Since 1980, okay. what are you to put in? Okay. Six, Eight, seven? 86. It's your not rainy day fund. <laughs> Hard <Pardon> mind. <laughs> okay. If you want to look at it that way, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, how much um, revenue do you have? anticipate getting from these semi-annual basic depending on the size of the of the meter um, yes. that would boost your revenue by how much do you have that you yeah. I'm looking at what's for the meters the meter fee? it's table oh there it is basic oh it's five so no, basic service charge the meters sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars okay if you look at if you look at a household meter which is the five eight three quarters it's forty dollars for every six months. You got four hundred twenty service connections in that category. It generates sixteen thousand hundred dollars. So that becomes a basis for us plus okay. water service. Uh -huh. the, otherwise, you'd be looking at a water rate that's a lot more than six dollars thousand. Right. It's, it's either you either put it on one end. A or lot more. Because I did we did that math for the selectmen to get them, and I, and I just did some money. We need. We're looking to get like about three hundred fifty thousand dollars in revenue to support the system in an annual, for an annual basis. And if you were to try to raise that much money just on the water itself, with the consumption of forty thousand gallons a year, then you could be as much as you know. Uh, well, it shouldn't be. just to get two hundred thirty thousand dollars, we'd have to have eight twenty-five a thousand. You'd have to be a lot more for the water. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents a thousand gallons. Instead of six, yeah. and that wouldn't give us enough money. No, that what you described looks like the numbers from the right. past. Uh, um, the water was not; they weren't, they weren't charging enough for it. My, okay. my, my, you can argue with that, but it's, it just wasn't making enough money. Part of the thing is, you know, it was a fairly new system, so nothing's been breaking. But now it's yeah. almost forty years old. Watch out. Uh, no, I appreciate you guys taking the time to explain some of the details because I. I guess some of the reasons when we talked about it, but we thought we would ask just to be sure we understood. Yeah, we'll see how it goes and how much revenue we get out of this over the course of the year. We can always make adjustments to fit the needs. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you know, we all know that things never tend to go down because it gets more expensive. I told Wayne the other day, I've been, I got injured and I haven't been around, I've been sort of housebound, and I love low and found out that this pump station got hit by lightning. And things got taken out, and it's going to cost the money to fix that. I remember hearing about that at some point. So. You don't have enough revenue to do that, where do you get the money? The object of the game is to have the system be self supporting. Understood. Because there isn't somebody outside making it. Work. Right. It's people outside the system shouldn't pay. I have one last question for my head. Will you be reading meters on August 31st so that the water that has been consumed? Between April and August, doesn't get charged at the new improved rate of September 1st. When you read meters, uh, yeah, yeah, this is the thing we were talking about. We'd probably talk to you guys. Do you want to read them? If you put this into effect, I guess what I'm saying is if you put this in, I think is what she's getting at. If you put right. this into effect, do you want to read them now, build now at the old rate, and then start? with the new reading from zero again at, with these rates. I think is what she's asking. Yeah, or you can read them and calculate the number of gallons at old rates, right. and then when your bill comes, yeah, number of gallons at new right. rates, so that you want, but you have to read them to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that hasn't been figured out yet, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess you can talk. It's an administrative issue. Yeah, we know we gotta do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was, I mean, I, I, we wanted to get this in effect earlier. You want to get on a billing cycle where you're, you're billing in, in January and July. Right. So that you have an annual revenue for the annual budget cycles of the town. Yeah. And 
and behind the scenes we don't know is DEP likes to collect data and they want their data based on an annual basis. So we need to read the meters and get the, 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 the amounts at the correct times. So we're going to be a little bit of an adjustment for us to get it in sync. Okay. Thank you. I still like to throw out the people that I know it seems like a lot of money, but six dollars for a thousand gallons of water is six tenths of a cent for a gallon. Mm -hmm. I, I remember having to get, you know where I just mentioned where we live. Yeah. I remember going to the center school and filling up a huge plastic jug with water, you know, from the whole yeah. pipe on the side there. So I'm very, very Back grateful that stuff, yeah. that we have our system and that it works. Just want to understand some of the mechanics and how you wound up with this and the squares and the kinds of things that we thought might be going on and appreciate your, you know, it's, taking the time to explain these different details. It, the other thing that kind of really drove this was our last sanitary survey. We had, we were required to do it, so we hired an engineer to do a capital improvement plan. So we now, or they have, we have, we now have, I mean, numbers and things of stuff that's got to get done for the next 20 years. Which, I got a bunch of copies if you want to see. But so two to two to four million dollars. I'm sure it's very exciting for you guys to be looking at. <laughs> Not necessarily in a good way. No. But water you need, so water we need. Oh yeah, I know you, this town went through a lot. I was, I was just getting started in the water business when that Whaley's whole thing happened and we were reading about it, hearing about it. Yeah. Just before we moved down here, we had a, I've always lived on a well and lightning took out my, my pump controls and we lost water. You know, that happens, it's like, oh. Any other questions, discussions? Who's there? How, 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 what's the protocol here? Or what, what, what? Okay. Are, they, are they through talking? Yeah, I just I asked guess. if there was any other questions. <clears throat> yeah, I have a question. I have a pro I, have, I have a complaint. I lived on six. You could excuse me. My I my. Vocabulary is very limited now. I'm 84, 84 92 years old. And, uh, uh, I came home up from Florida uh, on the a, uh, May 3rd. Okay. I found on my property there's a hydrant, and next to the hydrant there is a ditch, a galvanized a, a iron pipe sticking out, four feet deep. I think it's four feet deep because I could see the shutoff valve. I don't know how deep the shutoff valves are. Maybe somebody here that might be knowledgeable will know. Usually, a valve is four to five feet deep, and yeah, okay. well, that's what it was. Now it was like that for quite a few days. In fact, for a few weeks, no, no signs there, care, caution, you know, nothing, absolutely nothing. So I called up the uh, uh, water, water, uh, Mr. Uh, what, what is your name? Sir? Wayne Hutkowski. Yeah, Wayne Hutkowski, and just told him about the thing. He says, "Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll get on it." Right. Two weeks later, right, I still call him up. I couldn't get a pickup to do it with. I couldn't get couldn't get it from the town of to, to, from the town to one of their trucks to get. He gave give me a a line of BS. Well, to put his point. The thing is now it's still it, it, they filled it up. I don't know who filled it up, but somebody filled it up to maybe uh, maybe about four or five inches from the top. It's grown over. With from the grass, so you can't see anything. In, but if you step on it, you're stepping on a, 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 a hole. Right? Now, there's a lot of people use these, especially the younger children, that 
patronize the, the park after the ball games are all over, they all go over to the creamy to get a creamy, and they are all walk, they're walking within two minutes of this ditch with no no hand, right? I called Mr. Petkoski uh, again, right? Gave me another big excuse. To this day, it's still not done. And that since from, from the 3rd of May, What do you mean? Been there? What's what's going on? I don't know anything about Have it because I'm been the there? operator. Pardon? Been there first I've heard of this. Yes, it's the the shut off to oh. the ice cream stand. Broke. So we dug it up, put a new valve in. <coughs> and yeah, we have it. I asked Keith and he said he'd do it. We need to get time he drop a bucket of dirt off down there. And then I'd rake it out. I even got a bucket of dirt down. It is, I'll admit, he's right. There's a ditch, a hole, maybe six inches, eight inches deep. So you put a traffic cone on it or something? I can. Does that help? Just put a cone on it, something to flag it. You put a cone on it so they can fix it. Yeah. Something to flag it, at least so people know. Well, listen, I'm not the water department. He's the, he's the water, he knows what to do. An ordinary man with, 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 with intelligence to say, there's a hole there, I better put some kind of a warning there. And then have to wait, and to, to this day, it's still not done completely. And my, 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 uh, my, a, uh, found it. Sorry. My, uh, property line, iron pipe, they pulled that out. And I don't know where, whether they put it back in the right place or not. Well, we can talk to Keith tomorrow and see if we can get a bucket of dirt there within the next couple of days. That's all I but you, you people would have a hell of a, a lawsuit on your hands if somebody fell in there and broke their arm or, or broke their leg. This is the first we've heard about it. So. But don't you consult here with the... With the Who's Keith? Highway Super. Highway. Oh. That's commissioners are governance of the system. We don't run it. Well, uh, I'm not sure that you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We didn't know about it. We didn't know about it so. Pardon? We didn't know about this because that's an operational thing. And you brought, if you talk the way. Well, all I want to know is it's going to be done within another one or two days. I can't tell you that. That's the, the operator. Well, I've asked him twice already, and, I think, and I, three years, in three months, I didn't get any response. We'll check with Keith and make it a priority. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Is there anybody online? Uh, Juliano mm. is online. I'm here, but I have no questions. I'm just listening. Thank you. Okay. I do not see anybody else online. Probably do a motion to close the public hearing, the public hearing portion. Public so moved. Second. Somebody's going to make a motion. I make a motion that we close the public hearing. Second. Second. Okay. Agreed. Then you vote. Then you call for a vote. Roll call vote. Roll call vote. George. Close the meeting. Uh, John. Aye. All right, public hearing is closed. Thanks for coming. Take care. Be well. So then in terms of the public hearings closed, so you satisfy the requirement to hold the public hearing before your vote on the water rates. So, 
from a from a legal standpoint. Okay. We're actually voting to you we voted voted all months ago. Yeah. We can formally adopt them now, right? And then you're free to no. so you so you, you basically so you have the the information out. Obviously if there's any changes or amendments that the water commission want to make, they can at this point. No, as long as it's vote. not wholesale change. You know, if there's wholesale changes, it's not a bright line test, but as long as there's no significant changes, then there's free to make. Well, I make a motion that we approve the new water rates and fees. Second it. John? I, I agree. I third okay. it. Then because you're remote, you should do a, a roll call vote. Roll call vote. Okay. Yeah. I vote to approve it. I vote to approve of it. I approve. Vote to approve as well. And then do you have an effective thing? I know you sort of talked about this, but that should probably be decided. I mean, really, from, from a legal standpoint, it, these probably should be retroactive. Um, so any day forward looking, I think, would be. Retroactive, you can have the rates go back a ways? Right, I don't think you can do that. I don't think you could either, that's why. So you want to pick a day future where, you know, if. It's probably going to take a meter read, right, to, to know what the that the, right. the the usage is for the old fees, and then starting well, forward for the fees, right? Yeah, maybe I got to talk with Amy to see what the thing's capable of. I don't know if you want to do a. Do you want to do a reading, like now, and bill it out, or wait till October when we normally read them? Got to get on that schedule. Yeah, we get on that. Well, yeah, we want to work to get on that January schedule, that yearly schedule. Right. Uh, if you do the reading, you don't need to do the billing. You just need to have no, the reading. So right. for when you bill the next time, right? Yeah, so we could do that. I we right could right. read now, and the new system will hold. Right. You can bill any time. Yeah, I could bill both of them at the same time, the old rate and the Three I'm assuming the software can handle that. I, yeah, we're I don't thinking know. They can, I'd have to ask Amy though. Uh, She'd probably have to call. See if it'll do that. It would make things a lot simpler. Right. It's got to be able to handle Honestly, multiple. Right, but at least to a two readouts. You have one, everybody at the old rate. There it is. And then you set a second part of the bill that has a new rate yep. with the meter fee, which you can adjust for time. If we're going to, if we're going to start, say, August 1. Go from August, September, October, November, and December. You can prorate the fees for that four months instead of uh, five months instead of six. That'll get us on the schedule. We start going again in January. We'll be in line with the fiscal year. So then you have a date in mind. Uh -huh. you, you would want to probably the water commissioner probably want to set a date as to when the new fees are effective. What was August 1st? Suggest yeah. it. It's just, you know, it gives you two weeks to read it up. You all want to read the meeting. September 1st, you mean? September. Oh, it is August. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. I'm still, I'm still hey, landing a road. He's got it. excuses. It's all right. <laughs> September 1st would be good. September 1st is fine. That'll be, yeah, that'll be clean then. Yeah. That'll so you have to read the meters that. So July, August, two months on the, oh no, we said April, April, yeah. Then we'll have a billing at the end of the year. Yeah, like I said, I know the new system can hold. You know I mean? We could read them in September and then hold them to whenever you want to actually send yeah. the bill. Yeah. After not having a bill for a year, people would freak out if we gave two of them in six months. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get extra money out of us. Can you talk to Keith in the morning? And I'll stop there or one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. It's just things seem to get put aside a lot of times. Something else and more important comes up. Is it a big hole? 
No, it just it needs it's to be depression. Yeah, it needs it needs a bucket of dirt. I, don't know, I haven't seen it, so it's got him pissed off though. Yeah. Do we have anything else you want to go over? Right now, no. Okay. Well, I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Okay. I'll agree.